After winning gold and setting a new decathlon Olympic record in Tokyo, Damian Warner is gearing up to defend his title next month in Paris. And he joins us right now from London, Ontario. Damian, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, all the questions on, listen, you're heading to Paris, you hold this title, you are the best athlete in the world. Absolutely. How do you top it? How do you go into the next set of games going, what, what do I do now? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think there's no way to top that Olympics in, in 2021 just because that was my childhood dream. That's what I was fighting for all my career. And to achieve that moment was really special. But I think now I have a different goal. And I think if I'm able to go back and win another gold medal, I, I think it'll be awesome in its own right. But my goal right now is not necessarily to top that last medal, but to go in there and perform the best that I can and, and, and try to achieve one of my new goals. Let's talk about what your training looks like. A day in the life of Damian Warner as a decathlete. What does it look like as you get prepared for the games? Yeah, I think right now, uh, since we're getting closer to the games, training is starting to specialize a little bit. We're focusing a lot on speed and power and making sure that the technical elements of all the events that I do are where they need to be. Uh, that and making sure that we stay healthy. Uh, so far, training has been going really well. Uh, and if, as long as we stay on this path, I like our chances. Damien, you are getting your body set, but you're also getting your soul set. You're part of a new campaign with Cheerios called Cherish the Good. I love it because, as you've noted, it's going beyond the medals. It's talking about those small moments and what they mean for you as a person, as an athlete, uh, as someone that people look up to. Being part of this campaign, what does it mean for you? Which, by the way, you're on the cover of a Cheerios box, which is really cool. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the, the positives to it is that we're on a Cheerio box and I never would have imagined that I would be on a Cheerio box, so, so that's really special, not only for myself, but for my family uh, as well. But I think the cool thing for me is that I grew up watching the Olympics. Uh, I grew up and I was inspired by athletes like Katrina LeMaydone and Donovan Bailey, and I think that the tables have kind of turned a certain degree where uh, I am a role model for a lot of kids that are growing up and involved in track and field right now, and I take that very seriously. I try to represent myself the best that I can. And when I go out there, I try to compete as hard as I can. So hopefully I'm in a position to inspire some up and coming kids. Uh, and I think that that's really cool that we're, we're part of Cheerios and we're able to put uh, not only myself, but the other athletes along the campaign out there to share our stories and hopefully inspire uh, the next generation of track and field athletes and the next generation of Olympians that we have here in Canada. You mentioned that it's pretty cool to be on that box for your family as well. You've got a three-year-old son named Theo who is cute as a button. Um, is it cooler to have a decathlete dad who's at the top of his game or to have dad on a Cheerio box? I, I imagine it would be dad on a Cheerios box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when he saw the box, he was, he was pretty excited. And, uh, yeah, he, he eats out of that box every morning right now. So it's pretty cool. But, yeah, I, I think for me, the cool thing for me is that when I first got involved with the decathlon, there were so many people within my community and within Canada that didn't really know what the decathlon even was. They thought I did like running and, and swimming and biking. And there was a little bit of confusion there, but it's, it's come a long way where not only do people know what the decathlon is, but now I'm on a Cheerios box. So that's, that's really a proud moment for me. It really is. What is your, I know you have been uh, such a great role model as you've been speaking about to the future generation. What is your big message to them? A lot of them are watching, will be watching the games, have been watching you train, have been following your career. What do you say to someone who wants to be a decathlete like you? Yeah, the message that I always share is a, a message that my mom told me when I was younger. I was watching the athletes and matter of fact, it was Katrina LeMay Dome's race in 2002 at the Olympics. And me and my mom were watching as we we're sitting on the couch and jumping up and down and cheering as loud as we could. And when Katrina LeMay don't won her gold medal, I felt like I won a gold medal myself. And I turned to my mom and I told her like, when I get older, I want to go to the Olympics. And she told me that you can do anything you set your mind to. She said, if you want to be an Olympian or go into the NBA, if you want to be an astronaut, a police officer, a firefighter, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, uh, there's a path towards that. And that's something that I truly believe uh, to this day. And it's something that I've seen throughout my career. So I try to share that to as many people as possible. I think one day there's going to be a lot of kids that say, oh, I watched Damian Warner do this, 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 and, and now look at me. Uh, Damian, as always, a pleasure. We wish you the best of luck. We will be cheering. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Take care.